So how do you know if the product is going to bring you profits? And if it does, how much profit should you aim for? And what are the hidden costs of Amazon FBA? In this video, I will not only show you how the Amazon FBA calculator works, but also I will show you a real life product and a very comprehensive breakdown of all the costs involved in selling this product. Make sure to let me know in the comments below what is your startup budget for Amazon FBA uh, so that I can tailor the future content to your personal needs. If you don't know me, my name is Michael Jessa and I've been selling on Amazon since July 2018. Currently, I have a line of products on Amazon and also I am teaching others how to sell, successfully sell on Amazon FBA. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications not to miss any future content. So for the purpose of this video, I will make some assumptions and first one being uh, that this is your first and the only product you are selling right now. I will also assume that you are selling through Amazon FBA program and also that you will be sending your first product via Air DDP Shipping. DDP Shipping stands for Delivered Duty Paid. So let's get started. Okay, so I have already pre-selected a product on Amazon just to save us some time and I chose the posture corrector. Uh, I also looked uh, at the prices of this product using Jungle Scout Chrome extension. Uh, so just for the purpose of this video, let's assume we will be selling it at $17.99. Uh, and that's pretty much all we need right now. So the next step would be for us to find out how much it is going to cost us to import this product into UK warehouse. So for that reason, we will go to Alibaba website. So I already run uh, the search for posture corrector and looking at what's available, uh, we have over 47,000 suppliers, so quite a lot. And just looking at the first page, I think we could easily assume that the product will cost us somewhere around 250 to 3 US dollars. So as of today, that would be about £2.50. So let's assume that £2.50 is the cost of our product. Okay, so now let's check how Amazon FBA calculator works. Uh, in order to do this, click the link that is in the video description below or just search Amazon FBA calculator in Google. So this is how the calculator looks like. Uh, first thing we need to do is to enter ASIN for the product, for a similar product that we will be selling. So in order to do so, we go back to Amazon website we select a product that is similar to ours. So just for the purpose of this video, let's select this, this one. We click on that. We scroll down. And at some point in the page, we can see additional information. So what you need to do is copy that number here. go back to the Amazon FBA calculator and paste that ace in here. So let's do this. Okay, great. Uh, so we've got that product displayed here. We've got some details about this, how much it weighs, the dimensions, etc. But that does not interest us at this stage. What we need to do is check what are the Amazon FBA fees. So in order to do so, we need to first enter the price of the product, which we said is going to be $17.99. So let's do this. 
And that is pretty much it for us to calculate the Amazon FBA fees for this particular product. So if we hit calculate, uh, then we will get some details. So first thing we can see is the selling on Amazon fees. This is going to cost us £2.70. And then we've got the fulfillment cost, which is going to cost us £2.09. So in total, uh, we have £4.79. That gives us the proceeds, seller proceeds, £13.20. And then we've got the cost of the product. Uh, so I think we said the product is going to cost us £2.50, uh, but that does not include the shipping. Let me just quickly double check how much the shipping would cost for this product. So we've got about, if we send this product via RDDP shipping, it's gonna probably cost us around two pounds per product. And the transaction fee for payment on Alibaba website for payment to your supplier will be around 13 pence. So we've got 250, 450, 463 is the total cost landed. So let's enter this and hit calculate. Okay, great. So now what we can see in this calculator is our net profit. So this is basically the profit after all costs uh, that Amazon will take from us from the price of the product. And that gives us quite a good margin, which is 47%. And then if we enter in this field, the expected number of units that we are expect to sell during any given month, it will calculate the total profit for this month. So let's do that. Uh, in order to do this, we need to obviously know how many units we will be selling per month. And in order to do so, we will go back to Amazon website where we have all those products listed and run Jungle Scout Chrome extension once again. Uh, what we are interested in is the monthly sales here and we can see the first person here sells over 1,700 units, uh, but others sell a bit less. Uh, so, just for the purpose of this video, let's assume it's going to be 300 units per month. Let me close the extension. We go back to Amazon FBA calculator and this is where we enter this figure. So we said 300. So what it gives us basically is if we look in this a particular box it says we gonna have 2571 pounds per month which is quite a good profit basically so that's an interesting product however let's not get excited yet let's see what is the next step okay now you know how the amazon fba calculator works and now before we go into the next step, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications if you don't want to miss out any future content. Now, like I said, let's not get excited too quickly with these figures and let's break it down a little bit more. Okay, so what we already said is we are going to be selling 300 units uh, per month uh, we also said that the price of each unit will be $17.99. Uh, if I were to place an order for this item, I'd probably want to order two months worth of stock, looking purely at the sales for this product. Uh, we established uh, that the price on Alibaba is going to be $3 per unit, uh, which works out at the current rate at about £2.50. And we also established that the cost landed will be £4.63. Let's look at the setup costs now. So first thing you want to do obviously before you start selling on Amazon is you need to educate yourself properly. So you have two options. You can either go DIY way 
uh, which requires uh, quite a lot of time and you need to spend time online researching videos, researching topics, uh, researching the mistakes other people did, etc. Or alternatively, you can invest in an online course, uh, which kind of includes all this information. Uh, so for the purpose of this video, let's just assume you are investing uh, in such course and that you are actually uh, purchasing the stock for two months, like I said, which is 600 units. So based on these figures, I will be breaking down all the remaining figures as well. And we will see how much actually how much profit we are making on this particular product. So let's say an online course like mine will cost you say 500 pounds. Uh, that's gonna work out at 83 pence per product. And then obviously you need to set up your company and I assume it's going to be a limited company. Uh, which will set you back um, by 30 pounds and that gives you about 5 pence per product. The next category of your expenses will be your monthly costs per product and that includes things like uh, Jungle Scout Chrome extension, Jungle Scout web app, uh, Amazon fees uh, and feedback wheeze. Uh, so the total for this for two months will be 240 pounds uh, and that gives you a product per product price of 20 pence. And the next category of the products will be your product costs. So obviously first thing you need to do is to purchase the stock uh, and we established it's going to cost us £2.50 per unit. Then you need to pay for your shipping and DDP shipping for uh, 600 units will cost you for this product around 1200 pounds most probably. Always negotiate the price. Uh, so that means it will cost you about two pounds per product. And yes, DDP shipping by air is expensive and it almost costs as much as the product. And if your product is heavy, it's probably going to cost you even more. But this is the fastest and the safest and the best way to ship your product, especially if you are starting your Amazon FBA journey. So don't skimp on that. Then you need to pay your transaction fee. So I will assume you will be paying through Alibaba's own payment method. <coughs> and that is what I would suggest you do. Uh, it will work out at about 80 pounds per order, uh, which works out at about 13 pence per uh, unit. And then I assume you will want to do some photography shots as well, and that will cost you about 50 pounds per product. Uh, easily you can find people photographers online, you can search on people per hour, on other similar services. And this will work out at about eight pence per product. And I also assume you're gonna want to create an ebook. Uh, let's say it's gonna cost you 50 pounds. Again, look online, look on people per hour. It's gonna be eight pence per product. And then you're gonna have to design something for the product as well. You're gonna have to design the label. You're gonna have to design your logo. You're gonna have to design your thank you card. Uh, at least like I teach in my online course. Uh, so it's not that difficult, it's not that expensive. Uh, you can find people all around the world uh, and they will do this job easily for 30 pounds or even less. Uh, so that's gonna cost you five pence per unit. And there is also a VAT. However, like I said, I assume you are just starting your Amazon FBA journey. The threshold in 2019 for VAT is 85,000 pounds. So like I said in my other video uh, about UK taxes, uh, you have probably around 12 months of trading before you have to uh, pay VAT on your product. So don't worry about that. The cost, additional cost is zero. 
And the last category is the sales. <coughs> and what do I mean by that? Uh, this is first of all your advertising. In order to launch your product and in order to sell your product, you're gonna have to advertise it through Amazon pay-per-click and through Facebook advertising. So from my experience, if you do it well, if you do it how I teach, uh, it's gonna cost you about five pounds per product and you need to account for that cost in your product price. And there is the Amazon FBA fees as well. So as you remember, we looked at the Amazon FBA calculator earlier and we established that the FBA fees for this particular product will be approximately £4.79. And that's pretty much everything, all the costs we need to look at. Let's just enlarge this table now. <coughs> Okay, so we've got all the costs now, and we come to the total cost of £15.72. Now, we said we're gonna be selling that product for £17.99, so that leaves us the profit of £2.27, as opposed to £8.57 on the Amazon FBA calculator. So these are the hidden costs or the costs that uh, people and generally people who just starting the Amazon FBA journey don't take into account. Uh, but I do and I've got a very comprehensive spreadsheet as well for that purpose. So I will put the link in the video description below so you can download it for yourself as well and use it. And it takes all these costs into account. Uh, so, looking at the new figures, basically, we have £2.27 of profit. So, assuming we will be selling 300 units, and uh, that's not pounds, that's 300 units per month, that product will yield us seven, uh, sorry, £680 per month of profit, before taxes, obviously. Um, and that means I would not recommend going uh, into this product, uh, first of all because of the all the reviews and competition within that category, and the second of all that there is not enough profit. If you make a mistake, and if, especially if you are a beginner, if the advertising costs you more, or if you need to pay more for anything else, or the shipping costs you more, or the product costs you a bit more, that's gonna diminish your profit. So that's why it is very important to take into account all the profits, uh, all the product costs. And to me, what I'm looking for is at least five pounds of profit in each and every product. Best would be to go for eight pounds, uh, but five is the minimum I am looking for. Um, is 680 a good profit? Probably for some people is, but like I said, there is not enough margin for error here. So keep that in mind. What I'm trying to say is Amazon FBA calculator is great for estimating the costs of um, Amazon FBA fees. Uh, but it's not enough to establish whether the product is going to be profitable or not. So now you know how to use the Amazon FBA calculator and you also know how to calculate the Amazon FBA seller fees. You also know how to calculate the exact profits on each and every product and you also know what are the hidden costs of Amazon FBA. Now in the comments below make sure to let me know what else would you like to know and I'll be happy to answer your questions in the next video. Now if you would like to increase your chances of success on Amazon FBA, make sure to download my free ebook The Mindset of a Successful Amazon Entrepreneur in which I am discussing the four most important factors to achieving success on Amazon FBA. I will post the link in the video description below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it thumbs up, 
share out to social media and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got absolutely tons of content coming up over the next few weeks. So make sure to hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.